very handsome. Thank you. Does that look okay? You look beautiful. Hello! Hola! Mexican Donald. Welcome to the second episode of See, See You Real, Real Soon! Soon. Today we're going to go over something that we think to be very important at Walt Disney World, and that is... Rope Drop. We're going to give you the top tips of each park on how to... Maximize your time at Walt Disney World. First up, the Magic Kingdom. Wake up! Wake up! It's time to go to Magic Kingdom! Magic Kingdom is the only park that still has an opening show. The opening show begins about 10 minutes before a park opening. If you want to beat the crowds and do as many attractions as possible, we found that arriving about 30 minutes before park opening is sufficient. Seconds wasted means minutes longer in line. Set your alarms! No dilly-dallying! You can even add Mickey or Stitch give you a wake-up call. Good morning! No sleeping! <laughs> See? At Magic Kingdom, you're going to want to head straight for one of the four most popular attractions. That way, you can make sure that you can get on them in as least amount of time as possible because those lines can get really long later in the day. These rides are Magic Kingdom, <laughs> Splash Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, and Peter Pan. You'd be surprised, that one gets a long line. Remember, you can go get a fast pass for one ride and then go on another. And now, let's take the monorail over to Epcot. Well, actually, take it to the TTC and then you'll take it to Epcot, but same thing. Epcot no longer has an actual rope drop. Instead, they open the turnstiles about 10 minutes before the park opens and let guests trickle into the park little by little as to avoid the big stampede. So that actually means you should get to the park earlier so you can be close to the very front at the turnstiles. I would say about 30 to 45 minutes before the park opens. In our opinion, at Epcot, there are really only two big attractions that you're going to want to hit right away. Test Track and Soarin'. And now, on to Hollywood Studios. Hollywood, here we come! It's a little bittersweet because Hollywood Studios no longer has a rope drop show, which I kind of like. But at the same time, it's a good thing, because no longer is there the running of the toys. Here we go. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studio. Here we go. Hollywood Studios now works similar to Epcot, where instead of having an actual rope drop, they allow guests to trickle into the park about 10 to 15 minutes before the actual park open time. That way, there's no stampede. So again, you're going to want to get to the park about 30 to 45 minutes before park opening. There's two, maybe three attractions at Hollywood Studios that you want to hit first if you want to avoid the lines. The one we recommend most is Toy Story Midway Mania. <sighs> Best ride ever. Toy Story's lines can be up to three hours long at the busy parts of the day. In that one, you are going to want to grab a fast pass soon because they run out of fast passes around 11 a.m. or noon. The other ride you're going to want to go straight to in the morning is Rock and Roller Coaster. Rock on. Oh. The only other one that you might want to get into line early would be Hollywood's Tower of Terror. Although I wouldn't know because I hate that ride. It doesn't have as long of a wait as it used to. We usually see it only has 30 to 40 minutes. Not even. And our last stop is Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> Animal Kingdom no longer has a show either. And in fact... Are we certain of that? Yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure. And it probably is the park you can get to the latest. But still, you should be there before park opening. There are two options at Animal Kingdom that we think you should try to get to as early as possible. And that would be Kilimanjaro Safaris or Ev Mount, Mount Everest? Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest! That was good. The safari is a good one to hit early because it's cooler out so the animals are more visible and more likely to be out and about. And Expedition Everest is a good one to go to first because the line is really short and there's been times where we've gone five times in a row with barely any weight. It might be a long walk to get to Asia or Africa, but you can do it. 
It's worth it. Yoo-hoo, you're boring me. Wrap it up. Bronze, wants your big preference? Anyone? <sighs> so, in summation, get to the park early. Go right for the headliners, and you won't wait in line. We promise, it'll be worth it. Just take a nap in the afternoon, while everyone else who got there later is waiting in the hot sun. Until next time, see, see you real soon! soon.